How is it going guys? It's BreeVoice here and in this video we'll be showing you how to add multiple prototype cells in the same table view. And first of all, I would like to thank Sean Farrell for suggesting this video. And at the end of the video, as you can see, you will have multiple prototype cells in the same UI table view. And of course, you can customize your cell and add even more. Because in this video, I'm just gonna lay down all the basics that you need that you can extend further. Before we start, I'd like to mention that this video is actually a sequel to the basic UI table view. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm just gonna add the link under the description below. And if you have, as always, you can start with me right now. I'm just gonna close the simulator. Close this one. And let's start right where we left off last time. Here. And I'm gonna go first to see what the old cell look like. So table view cell that the icons are on the left. So I'm just gonna create a new prototype cell which the logo will be on the right. I'm gonna click at the right click at cell and then new file. iOS Cocoa Touch class. Click next. I'm gonna name it custom cell right is a subclass of UI table view cell also create xib file next create I'm just gonna double click at xib file for the table view cell and custom cell right I'm just gonna adjust them um, select the three and then I'm just gonna drag to the new one Close the old one, close this one, go back to the main window here. Oh, I'm just gonna adjust the height first. Right, select the three, rearrange it. Okay, select the whole cell and reset the constraint first. Clear all the constraints because we're just gonna rearrange it. Okay. Select the whole cell and add it back again. And that's it, we're done with the representation of custom cell right. Oh, actually I forgot to add the identifier. Click the whole cell, go back to inspector here, and then I'm just gonna say custom cell right. Okay, and that's it, we're done. Uh, next we're gonna go to the Swift file, the table view here on the left and the custom cell right all right I'm gonna copy the three and the common init function and next thing we're gonna do is to link the element file to the .swift file start off with logo and then the title and then a sub label and that's it we're good to go with the cell now we're done next I would like to go to view controller and then register the cell that we did before copy the previous one and then rename this one custom cell right and as well as the identifier nickname right copy this one right here and next I'd like to go to cell row at here I'm gonna add the if else statement index path dot item mod 2 equal equal 0 which is state that if the index path dot item is the even number then we're gonna create another cell here just copy it inside and let it be um, custom cell right and cast it as custom cell right and that's it and for the else part which is the even uh, the odd number here gonna be the, the same here oh, okay delete this one and that's it guys I'm just gonna run it all right, let's see. Yay, that's it. As you can see here that the logo on the right are located in the even index and the logo on the left are located in the odd index. Yeah, 
and of course you can add the specific index that you want maybe like the index path dot item equal to three or four or the exact position where you want it to be and of course you can customize yourself how you like it to be as always guys thanks for watching to the end of the video if you have any question or any tutorial that you want me to do you can just leave them down in the comment section below everybody it's high five and see you guys in the next one